All right, here we are. This is my uh, air conditioner and water heater, water heater experiment. Um, this is my uh, 12 volt uh, power supply. It's converting the AC into DC with a 12 volt output. Uh, what I got here is um, uh, a water, uh, water cooling block with the uh, two tubes coming out of it. Sandwich on either side outside of it is uh, uh, two sets of TEC, thermoelectric coolers. So there's two on each side. Those are the wires coming out of that. And then outside of those is uh, the uh, heat sinks. You got one on each side here. These are aluminum heat sinks. The water cooling block is also aluminum. The output, which is the top hose here, goes to this uh, water pump here. So that's the inlet, and then the outlet comes up here. The tube goes up here, and you'll see, I'm not sure if you can tell, it stops about halfway down. And then the idea is the hotter water is going down. Then you got down here at the bottom, this is your cold water, and that's feeding up there and into that inlet right there, the bottom tube. So the, um, the whole point of this setup is you've got these TECs, there's four of them in all, um, getting power, um, you know, they're getting powered right now. And then you got the uh, insides of them, so where the water block is, is the hot side of it. And so while that's getting hot, this water is being fed through the water block and it's keeping it cool. And the water is gonna eventually get hot on its own. In the meantime, the other side of these TECs, the outside, is getting extremely cold. You can see that frost is forming on these heat sinks here. If I don't, if I don't blow uh, the room air on it uh, long enough. So what you'll end up finding is that I'm cooling the air on the outside while I'm warming up the water slowly on the inside. And given the amount of uh, heat, thermal uh, energy that water can contain, you'll find that you can actually run this for quite a while before the water actually ever gets hot. So I'm gonna run this experiment, see how long it takes before the water gets to, uh, uh, I would say, a considerably warm temperature, if not a hot temperature. And that'll give me an idea of how long I can run this thing um, uh, before it you know, reaches capacity. After that, I just gotta figure out the, um, the load, the energy load that's put on this and compare that with a, a water heater and an AC unit of comparable size. I'll have to scale things a little bit. Thank you very much for watching.